Congratulations again. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Let the taste of this moment ever be on our lips. 
And may we make this time an opportunity to praise the selfless giving, to be thankful for mutual caring, to lift up the broken spirit, to bless each other with words of kindness, sympathy, and love. Before we say bracha over the wine, let us turn to page two and join together. Behold, before us, around us, and within us, the glorious light of Shabbat joy still lingers. With the flame we ushered in Shabbat, and we hope that the reflection of this light will allow Shabbat to last a moment longer with us. We have invested the hours of Shabbat well in peaceful contemplation of our blessings and in loving contact with our family and friends. We shall tell my sons only my name, Haishua. La donai, Haishua, la kabir khate khasela. Adunai, seba okiman viskaplan uel hea kovsela. Adunai, seba otashya da boti akbaha. Adunai, hoshia ha melech ya neinu biyom koreinu. La yehudim hai kaora, la yehudim hai kaora. Vesim ha vesa sonikar. La Yehudim hai kaora, la Yehudim hai kaora, the simcha v'saha sovikar. Ken ki alanu, kos yeshuot esa, u v'shem Adonai ekra.
shocked by the Shabbat by singing a blessing over the light shed by the candle. This candle has not just one wick, but several wicks woven together in order to produce a bright flame. This flame is symbolized to the worst days of the new week. It reminds us that holiness should be present, not just in our Shabbat rest. God lives in the six days of work, not just in the seventh day of rest. God's light of Torah must shine on us in the store and in the office, in the factory, wherever we do our work. Oh God, we pray that in the sixth day to come, we may help your light to shine. May it shine upon a world where people may walk and speak without danger. May it shine upon a world where the, the lives of the children will be safe from evil. May it shine upon us, learning more to your Torah and doing more of your mitzvah.
and her guests about her name because her name is very meaningful and uh, you'll see why in just a few minutes. Her name in English is Misha. In Hebrew, the letters Mem Shin Hei are uh, Moshe. So Misha really is Moshe, which was the Hebrew name of my late father, who unfortunately died uh, a number of years ago, in fact, three years before I met Isaac, but I'll talk more about that in a minute. Misha, for those of you who were in the uh, Beit Knesset at the synagogue this morning, heard her talk about the uh, Torah portion of this week, which had to do with Moshe and the traits of his character that were very important, which included leadership, humility, sharing, and loyalty, which are all traits that I see blossoming in Misha as she grows into a woman. And I'm, very, I'm a very proud mother. I, I can't hide it. I'm a very proud mother always, but especially today. And I think it's very fitting that her Torah portion on her bat mitzvah is about Moshe, and her name indeed is Moshe, after my father. In the Jewish religion, of course, it's very important that the name be a legacy of a relative. And I'm very honored that Misha also represents the principles and ideals of my father, which will lead us into the second portion of her name, Siona which means Israel, the state of Israel, the country of Israel. My father was a very strong Zionist his entire life, although unfortunately he never had the opportunity to visit Israel. He would be very proud that I marry a person whose family has now immigrated to Israel, and I'm very honored for that as well. And of course, Yom Tovian, we heard Rabbi Shachter so beautifully talk about Yom Tovian, which means good day. And it's very musical. In fact, Misha's whole name, Misha Tzioni Yom Tovian, is musical and poetic, which is fitting because the theme of her bat mitzvah is music. And with that, I would like to introduce the next small portion of the program. Music has been a very important and enjoyable part of Misha's life. And we're very fortunate to have at this time a short musical interlude. Very honored to have Misha. Misha, can you come up, please? Misha and Mrs. Berkhoff are going to do a duet, but before they can do it, I apologize, we have to get the music. So we're going to do that, and it may take a, a minute. We will get it and return momentarily. Then will be a duet called Ragtime Parade, performed by Mrs. Maxine Berkhoff and uh, Ms. Misha Yomtobian.
The next uh, piece is, is a lot of fun because it's a piece for eight hands. And actually, I somehow got roped into this, <laughs> but I've had a lot of fun doing it with Ezzy, Misha's sister, Misha, Mrs. Burkhoff, and Leia is going to participate because this song involves not only eight hands, it involves lots of balloons. And I need also Isaac to help, which I guess means Ariella has to come with. So we're going to get started.
this is not a prepared speech. I know that we have three or four rabbis here, and I know that the universe or the world stand on three pillars. Ha'olam Omed al Shlusha Devarim. Pirkei Avod, I think, Aleph Obed. The entire world or universe stands on three pillars. Al HaTorah, Al HaAvodah, Al Gimilut Chasadim. On the first pillar is education, knowledge, wisdom. The second pillar is work, Avoda. And the third pillar is service to others. As far as the Torah is concerned, I believe most of our friends know that we left Lake Wobegon, St. Cloud, Minnesota, to come to the greatest city, city of Cleveland, where we could have a real good education for our children. So we believe, at, at least we have tried as parents, to provide the opportunity for Misha, if you look at me here, the education. Solomon Schechter, very good school, Orange, Cleveland Hebrew School, B'nai Shuren, there are all avenues of wonderful, wonderful education. So we are doing the first pillar. The second pillar is Avodah, work. And I guess the only thing we can do, your mom and I, is work hard ourselves to be a role for you, to be the one that you can look up and see that we are working hard enough and you will adapt that and I think you are doing that and you are also working real hard you prove that to us by preparing for your bat mitzvah the third one which is probably the most rewarding the one that it takes awful lot to understand that is the greatest gift actually is gimelut chasadim giving to others working for others, sharing with others, for your community, for your friends, for other people, for your country, for your people, giving of yourself for others. Now these are the items that you can do as individuals, but the question is, if you do that, what happens? Haolam exists, the whole world, the universe, will then exist and will bring peace and uniformity to all if everybody does that, they have the education and work hard and do good for others, it will bring peace. And that's what we wish for you, that you do. At this point, I would like also to tell her that she has received an awful lot of phone calls and letters from our family in Israel, my brother Herzl, Mishpachat, or the Gabai family, Sazgar family, all of the families in Netanya, Jerusalem, Afula, Beersheva, on and on. I just want to document that in the video so they know that I haven't forgotten them. Mishpachat Yom Tovian, Gabai, Sazgar, all of those who are in the state of Israel, my uncle in Iran, everybody else. We remember them and we are happy that this occasion we are remembering them. And also I'd like to thank you all of you for listening to us. And we are going now to proceed for the next part, which is going to be with our musical instruments here and all of the kids are going to have fun and we will go ahead and have lots of good time here. Thank you.
the Yom Tovians, they are always winners. I am a winner. I got my prize. It's right there. Orna. Your dad is a winner. He's got a crown jewel. And my sister Lydia is a winner. He's got a prince. So you got to be a winner too. And I am sure you will be. My kids, Ruth, Ronnie, have spent many months to prepare these songs for you. We have had a lot of fun to prepare, to prepare these songs for you. And I hope that you will enjoy it. But before I tell you the song, there are some words in the Ontovian vocabulary that I gotta tell you, otherwise uh, a lot of people might not understand it. Cool means out of sight, something very special, and also it means cold. Saba means grandfather. Saba, Safta means grandmother, and Doda means aunt, for those of you who don't know. And Amujan, of course, means uncle. So, Ruthie, you wanna come up? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Safta and Safta and Grandma, now Ruth, Ronit and Sammy and Orma will sing with love to Misha, Tiona, Yom Tovian.
Well, isn't that great? Yeah! There is Ruben. Ruben, now that you did it, you better do one more thing. On the piano. On the piano. Later on, he wants to play the Persian music later on. He is an accomplished pianist. But he will save it for later on, that's fine. Well, let's go ahead with the music here, with the kids, and we have a lot more coming up. Listen, listen for a second. This is how it goes. Misha's gonna start, she's gonna find somebody to dance with. One of the boys. Then I'll say mul multiply. Misha will go back to the guy's side. She'll pick somebody. The guy that she dances with will pick a girl. And we'll keep on going. Okay?
Misha from Salomon Shepherd. Very soon we are going to say Birkat Amazon. I would like you to get, you know those booklets, that small booklet that you had with your table number on it? It has Birkat Amazon in it. All of the kids from Salomon Shepherd, please get your booklet. We are going to have Birkat Amazon soon. But before we do that, let's have some music with our wonderful band. We have a request for a, a tango.
whenever they come, we get spoiled as well. While uh, Safa and Safta are here, they have a gift for Bisha. And I, as a matter of fact, forgot to mention one of my sisters in Hulon. I'll be in trouble if I don't mention her family's name. Shemesh. I know that they have called and wished Misha a very happy bat mitzvah. They are not here tonight, together with all of the other sisters and brothers. Okay. Isaac, Isaac, you need them to come over here for a picture. You should move over. This is also a gift from my brother, Herzl. Okay, go ahead. Grandpa? Grandpa. Look here, Grandma. 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 The third candle is for my Uncle Ruben, Aunt Orna, and my three cousins, Ruth, Ronit, and Sammy. Real brief. 
All right. The fifth candle goes to my Uncle Lenny and Aunt Allen, who live in Chicago, Illinois. pictures of you in the delivery room with your mom and dad, and in the 12 years since then, I've seen you mature into a lovely, beautiful woman. You're bright, you're poised, you're beautiful, and I know you'll carry these things with you the rest of your life. I look forward to spending time with you as both an uncle and a friend. Lisa, the first time I was introduced to you was on my third date with your uncle Lenny. That was in January of 1988, exactly four years ago. He took me to lunch on the third date and brought pictures of you and your mom and dad and all of your sisters, at that time, Evie and Leah. He was so proud of all of you, and he wanted to share part of his family with me that day. And just from the pictures of you, all through the stages of your life, I could see a warm, adorable, very sweet girl. And then I got to know you in person. And getting to know you over the past three and a half years has been such a delight. Though we do not get to see you as often as we would like, the time we do spend together has been very, very special. I have felt honored to be included in some important decisions and transitions in your life. I love it when you call us on the phone and talk. And having our special talks and sharing those bonds that the oldest girls in a family with sisters share has been really fun for me. As the years pass and we experience all that life provides us, I look forward to getting closer to you and participating in your life to the fullest. I love you and I think you're really special and I'm honored to be your aunt, Misha. Candle goes to my best friend Alana Ressler right here. Hold it. and Take Danny Cochran, who lives on my street, and we all went to Palma, Texas together. And I and it also say um, that I that they also represent all my other friends here. But Thank you. 
תודה רבה, עמי. Leia, turn around, honey. Good girl. The eighth candle goes to the Shapiro family, Bob, Nancy, and their children, Benjamin and David. They were our best friends and neighbors in St. Cloud. My father is Benjamin's godfather. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, five. Yeah. 
She will say it by heart. While she is looking for it, okay. Maybe what we should do while she is looking. All right, you have it. Okay, great. She's very brief, but hopefully she will hold the microphone very close to her mouth so we can hear it. And also, she won't run through all of the words. In front of the candle. Good evening. I would like to thank all family, neighbors, and friends for being here to share this, share this joyous, joyous occasion with me, especially those who have come from far distances. I would like to take a few minutes telling you what my bat mitzvah means to me. It mostly means becoming a woman and becoming a responsible adult. It also means continuing my Hebrew studies and staying in Hebrew school. Like my parents, I would like to become an active member of my community. I will try my best to possess the three famous pillars of the Torah. The world. Torah, Avodah, Milut, Chasadim. My theme is music. I chose music to be my theme because I play the piano and take lessons. 
I also enjoy playing the piano, even if it means practicing. I am very proud of my rich and multicultural heritage. My father was born in Iran, the land of Cyrus the Great, Esther and Mordechai, Omar Khayyam, and many great scientists and philosophers. Iran is the land of poetry and music. My dad was educated in Israel and dedicated to Zionism. My mother has roots in Europe and Russia, and I am the privileged product of Jewish, Ashkenazi, and Sephardic culture. Like my parents, I believe I'm very lucky to live in a free country. When we lived in St. Cloud, Minnesota, we had a very small Jewish community. I am very grateful that my mom and dad chose to raise our family in Cleveland, where we have the best opportunities for education and cultural growth. Thank you.
you're talking for I'm both talking of for us. both of us? Yes, you are. That's unusual. <laughs> are, am I on yet? Uh-oh, here we go. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank the Yom Tovian family for a wonderful, marvelous experience. This has been a beautiful, beautiful evening. And Misha, you absolutely delight me. You were a wonderful <laughs> student, and I was thrilled with how well you did this morning. Mazal Tov, and only the best.
hear some music uh, from Steve Winwood, by the way, of the Blues Brothers. say that I'm glad everybody could come and I enjoyed this party and it's been a wonderful experience for me and I enjoyed the service at first I was nervous but then it worked out I'm glad it's over and the party's great and it's 
wonderful. There's nothing else. Hi, I'm glad that I could come today, and I'm glad that Misha invited me. This has been a good bat mitzvah, the best one I've been to so far. And I just want to say have a great bat mitzvah and a great rest of your life. Misha, we had a wonderful time at your party, and it was great, and you performed beautifully this morning. And I just want to say, Mazel Tov, on behalf of the Chavura, you know our Chavura in uh, on the San Francisco area, they all send Mazel Tov. And specifically, I want to mention that, for the record, Joanne and Herring Kornblitz introduced us to Cleveland. And uh, they are also sending their regards to you. Mazel Tov. Bye. Misha, Daddy. Now it's 12.30, the music still is going on. Everybody had a wonderful, wonderful time. I know that you were very concerned about all of the guests having good time, the kids, their parents, and so on. I can tell you that they all had a wonderful, wonderful time. You did an excellent job in the synagogue. You, do, you did a wonderful job here tonight. And all I can tell you is that this is just the beginning. It is up to you to do what comes up in the future. You are entering into a new era, an era of adulthood, which will have a lot of responsibilities and awful lot of joy. I hope that you will accept all of those responsibilities and as a result you will bring many many joys to us and yourself happy birthday mazel tov we love you daddy loves you hi misha a few words from your mom first of all you were marvelous 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 i'm very proud of you i'm proud that uh, you're my daughter i'm proud to be your mother you're a beautiful young woman, Misha. I want to let you know that uh, Misha, your name, Mem Shin He, Moshe, one of your qualities is leadership. You demonstrate it every day. You need to be a leader to your sisters because they will have their bat mitzvot. We will depend on you to help them to do the kind of job that they're capable of doing and to do it in a wonderfully Jewish and family way which which you did. We look forward to many family simchot and we're very very proud of you. Happy birthday, Todah Rabbah, thank you and we love you. Just one more word uh, Misha, I know that you tried to mention the names of all of your cousins and uncles, and I tried, but we were in a rush. So let me go over it one more time. Mishpachat Gabai, Mishpachat Yom Tovian, Mishpachat Shemesh, Mishpachat Sazgar, all families in Netanya, Afula, Yerushalayim, Beersheva, we all love you, we miss you, and we know that you are here with us in spirit. Thank you for being in touch with us. We love you all and Misha loves you. Thank you.